Hey guys, welcome back. This is the first video of 2018 and for about two weeks now, two weeks ago I installed SolidWorks 2018 and since then I was looking for an excuse to actually use it um, properly and I found my excuse in a idea uh, that I had about two years ago. Two years ago I uh, thought of the idea to have a paramotor uh, be converted to be used as a drone with an autopilot and having underneath it a, a gimbal with a camera. For that idea I bought this specific uh, wing and well in the last two years I didn't have any time uh, to actually start to build properly. But as I said I needed an excuse and now I have my excuse. So as I said, in the next couple of weeks, I will alternate videos of the 3D printer build and uh, the build of the Sparrow motor drone. Um, I'm going to make a couple of videos about it. Uh, this is the first one, the introduction. And uh, a, lot of, a couple of steps of the build uh, I will share with you in a video. So let's take a look at some of the parts that I'm going to use in this build. First, of course, the wing. Uh, the one on top is the Opal Fox RS and I bought it about two years ago with the intention to make a power motor drone. As I said, in the last two years I didn't really get to the point of actually making it and now that I'm, actually, uh, that I'm going to make it, well I reconsidered using it. The main reason for that is because it's an experimental plane with a flight controller. It may be too much to handle, to have a high performance wing that is made for racing and to be really efficient, to have it as a uh, experimental wing. So after I did some research and had some feedback on the forums, decided to switch it up and uh, as a replacement I bought a wing that's lying be uh, beneath it. Um, I have some footage of uh, testing it on the field uh, the other day that you can see here now. It's really easy to get up in the air so that gives me uh, great confidence that uh, when I'm actually at the point of using it uh, for testing and flying that it will be a real breeze and really easy to actually use it. On to some parts that I already made. In the past week I had the printer running almost uh, the entire time and making individual parts for the power motor, in this case the cage, uh, the propeller cage. Um, because there are a lot of wires and uh, bridles as they are called, uh, it's really important to have it separated from the propeller because we don't want uh, one big mess of wires wrapped around the propeller or then being cut. So the propeller cage should help with that and there's also some aspects of the cage that I'm going to test with. Uh, the main one is, uh, that you can see here, it has um, angled uh, arms. And the reason for that is that it should help with compensating for the torque that is created by the propeller. Uh, normally when you um, increase throttle, the weight and the uh, inertia from the propeller that's turning uh, will cause the uh, entire power motor to turn violently to the left or to the right, depending on where the motor is turning to. This should help and it's already tested and proven that it should work, but of course there's uh, some things that you need to consider and uh, test it to be sure that it works um, in a specific occasion. Um, you can play around with the angle and the size of these fins and this is based on um, some simple calculation and of course combined with some guesswork. So we'll see if it works. Beside it you'll see some other parts of the arms and uh, besides that the next uh, main aspect of the propeller cage, uh, the ring sections. For this build of course we will need electronics and for the electronics I decided to go with this motor. This is a Turnigy uh, Aerodrive 5065 
and it's 370 kV if I'm correct and it will be run on 6S. I'm going to use for that these two 6S LiPos. These are multi-star, 10 amp hour each and they should give me a nice flying time uh, at least for the, for the test model. And um, the motor will be controlled with the speed controller I have here. This is a Turnergy Plush. It's a 100 amp ESC and it should be sufficient for this, uh, this model and this uh, specific motor. Um, you can also see here the servos that I'm going to use. There are two uh, sizes. The left one is the size that I'm going to use for the weight shift control, weight shift uh, steering. I'm also going to use this to uh, operate the brake lines for brake line steering. Uh, to the right is the smaller one. It can offer a little bit less uh, force, but uh, more than enough to operate um, the speed uh, bar. And also I'm going to use those to control the big ears. And the big ears are a um, way of operating the wing. Big ears allow you to uh, descend a lot quicker than you could do uh, in other ways. Of course, there's always the more aerobatic spiral, but if you want to fly down a, a more controlled and a smooth way, it's the way to go. Of course, we'll need a propeller, and for that we'll use this Xor. Um, it's an 18 by 10 propeller, so 18 inch uh, in 18 inch wide and it has a pitch of 10 inch. So these are some of the parts. I'm sure I've missed a couple of things about it and a couple of facts about it. And I'm also sure that I missed some components. Oh, for example, the flight controller. I haven't yet received uh, the flight controller. So that's obvious that it's not lying here on the bench. Um, but in the next videos, I'm sure I will address the things that I forgot now and I can also uh, get into more detail if you guys have some questions please put your questions in the comments so I can look at it and um, tell a bit more about the, the things that uh, you're wondering uh, in one of the next videos. So that's the introduction to this build. Um, as I said I'm going to make a couple of videos about it. I'm not sure yet how many but there will be a couple of and then for the build and a couple of them for the test flying and uh, adjustments that I need to make um, during the flying and during the testing. There are a couple of things that I'm sure that I will address. Uh, the first one is the 3D printing and the things that I uh, encountered, the problems that I encountered uh, during the printing. I will also make a video about uh, how I laminate these uh, 3D printed parts because there are not too many videos about how it uh, can be done or of people that have done it. Um, I know it's possible, but I'm sure there are a couple of uh, challenges along the way. I will also make a video about um, the software side of the flight controller. Um, as I said, there are a couple of things that I need to change in the software to actually get it to correctly uh, control a power motor. One of the main differences is that there is, for example, no elevator. There's only a brake and uh, the height of the model will be controlled by throttle and not by, as is common with other uh, models, um, a little bit by throttle, but mainly by the elevator. And besides that, um, something that is also interesting and challenging is getting a gimbal to work on this rig. Because it's only hanging on two points where the risers meet, uh, the model, um, it's prone to uh, shake and turn around uh, on itself. And it's pretty likely, it's quite likely that um, when you turn on the gimbal, that uh, the compensating of the gimbal to compensate uh, the movement of the model will actually increase the amount of wobble and turning and uh, movement uh, of the model uh, instead of only um, compensating the movement and getting the camera uh, to uh, hang still. 
So the, there are quite a lot of challenges, but that's also something that is, uh, is interesting and challenging and that makes it fun. Um, besides that, as I said, uh, I am uh, still continuing the build of the um, 3D printer. But I'm going to alternate um, videos that I upload of the build of the uh, 3D printer and of this build. And of course, when there's something in the workshop that I want, uh, want to have done or want to get done, um, I will also post a video of that, but that's not something that will be here uh, on a regular basis. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you are excited uh, for this as well. Uh, I can say that I am. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting it uh, all put together and uh, getting it to fly. It would be, I can imagine it will be a really a nice sight in the air. And yeah, I hope it, it flies as I uh, imagine, uh, long and stable uh, flights uh, and easy to, to use and to transport. But we will see. Uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And uh, I hope you enjoy the series.